Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about flags. And a flag is typically a boolean or an integer to indicate whether or not something happened or some condition was met within an algorithm. And then later you can check the value of that variable to act upon it. So in this situation, with this algorithm we have here, we are taking a list of numbers and we are squaring them and seeing if any of them are larger than this value 500, which is arbitrary. You could change that or get it from user input, whatever you needed to do. And right now we're using this else clause attached to the while, which we talked about in the previous video. This will execute if none of the numbers are found to be large enough. And although this works, you should know both strategies. I would say that the else clause attached to a loop is fairly uncommon compared to flag variables, especially for other languages which may not support else clauses with loops. So here's how you're going to do this. You're going to create a variable and give it some name, it doesn't really matter, success, and we will default it to false. So if you think about going through this sequentially, before you start, none of them are larger than 500 because we haven't even checked a single one. However, if, as we're checking them, one of them is found to be large enough, what we would do is we would set it to true. Success is now valued to true. So we change that flag, throwing up that flag. Later we can check that flag and say, hey, one of them was large enough. So we can actually replace this else here, get rid of that, and we're going to do another case down here, so another if statement. And let me get a little bit more room for you guys. So we will say if success, and we can print one of them was large enough. Now, if you want it to be exactly what we had, we could invert it and just say if not success and say none were large enough. So that is how you would do the exact same thing that we were just doing. So let's run it, make sure it works. So 70 squared is larger than 500. So one of them is found. So that is why this is not executing. And let's just decrease this to some really small number, run this, and none were large enough. 